morning there. So today we're going to be talking about um, the Rio 15 carrier wing version. So as you can see, this is its normal pack's length and it's considerably shorter than a car, most cars. Um, if you've got a decent length for state car like this one, you don't even need a glider rider for it. Um, this one's a trike version, uh, but the procedure for rigging it and de-rigging it is exactly the same for um, the free flight version. One of the neat things about this glider is that um, we have a separate bag that contains battens, outer leading edges, speed bar. So the Rio 15 is a light glider anyway, and when you take this bag out and carry this separately, it means your main glider bag is only weighing about 20 kilos. So if you are a free flyer and you carry up a hill, it makes a very easy carry up to carry the small bits in one hand and this in the other. Okay, so rigging procedure is slightly different for the carrier wing version than a normal one. So first of all, you can flat rig it, um, which is important in the UK when we have our windy days. Um, but and the flat rigging procedure is pretty similar to a normal one, so we won't go into that in so much detail. Uh, rigging on the A-frame is a little bit different though. Um, so you notice I've opened the wings out without the keel stinger on. Now the keel stinger is um, stored in the small bits bag anyway, um, so you don't put that on at this stage. You just open the wings to this far with it still sat on the shortened keel and you'll find that you're able to pull tension from here. And you see it pulls quite easily, so we've got a two to one adva mechanical advantage on tension, so all avians have this, it's quite easy to pull tension on. Very important safety tip is whenever you take a ring off, always put it back on immediately. Don't stick it in your pocket and think you'll do it later always put it back on at that stage so that you know that's secure because this tension of course is pretty much the most important thing on the whole glider now at this stage we're also able to hook on our rear wire which is actually easier to do on the carrier wing than it is on a normal one because it's nice and close to you if you come around to the front now So like all avians we use the swan catch on the nose, um, it's a very secure way of attaching the nose wires and it's also a very easy way to do and you're not fighting and pulling against it because it gives you a nice little mechanical advantage there. Now another thing you'll notice is that we have our wings held up at the moment by these red bunges. Now these were quite a good idea we had um, when we realised that because you've got quite a bit of sail when you're trying to roll this and fold it um, really you need an extra pair of hands and somebody else to hold this and stop it flapping around especially if you imagine you're doing this on a windy day so what we do is simply have a bungee loop that we loop around the nose and it keeps these wing tips out of the way okay so the outer leading edges are also stored in this bag and you'll find that the carbon sections are stored inside the aluminium sections okay so now we're going to put the outer leading edges in Now, whenever you're folding a sail, just try and do everything in one smooth movement. Avoid doing it ten times and folding it up ten times. You're better off just fold it once, roll it. If it's not perfect, it's better to leave it rather than unrolling it, trying it again, doing it again, doing it ten times. You just put more wear on the sail that way. You notice I've just walked around with the sail holding it out. So the outer leading edge is in two sections. You've got your aluminium piece, which has got the washout batten on it, and you've got a carbon extension to it. So there's several ways you can do this. You can put the carbon piece in first, um, but the way I'm gonna show you now is to take the aluminium piece, you pass it through the zip that's closest to the tip. So you've got good access to put your hand through the zip here. You can guide the outer leading edge into place inside the inner leading edge. The important, they'll go together quite easily as long as you get it straight. 
So the trick is to move and find the alignment where they slip together easily. Now they'll go to a point, but not be fully home. So just rotate it a little bit until you find the slot and then it's snapped home nicely. And again, we have a marker there so that you know it's fully home. If you now look at this, this side, we can see that we have the outer leading edge inserted up to here. So now we can put the carbon piece in it's important that the hook is facing backwards. And again, you'll find it goes into a point and then you have to rotate it until it clicks over. And now the tip so we have these new style tip handles. So something you can see about these is that there's some room for adjustment by moving this pin round to change the twist on the tip. We've also included this hole here as an inspection hole so that you can see that you've got it home. So we just need to pull a little bit of tension on the wing. Because we've got our inspection hole there, you can see that the carbon fibre piece is fully home into the aluminium piece. And then to tension it, it's easy. The best way is to put your thumb through that loop so it doesn't snap hard shut. And then cam it over. And I caught it on that loop and I closed it smoothly. And then we can just bundle this piece of bungee up out of the way. Okay, so you can see we've slid all the battens into position, but we haven't tensioned any yet. Um, my own preference is put all the battens in first and then tension them from the wing tip towards the center. So the very final batten is actually a compression strut, so it's a straight one. So you need to insert that into the wing, engage it on the hook that's on the leading edge, and then slide it home and click it straight. So if you just want to come a bit closer, so I show you the avian design of batten ends. So this is common on all of our gliders. So you'll see they're a, they're a snap click fitting, um, but unlike other manufacturers, they don't work in a vertical plane, they work in a horizontal plane. Now the reason for that is that once they're closed, it doesn't matter how much force is put on by the flight loads, it won't pop open because it's locked in a horizontal way. And you can see that actually they're just as quick and easy to do and to undo as anybody else's. That's the Rio fully rigged. Check out my next video for the pre-flight inspection.